cut. Max, why Notre Dame to come to your grad assistant? Uh, so, I, I, a lot of people don't know, I grew up a Notre Dame fan. Michigan State and Notre Dame. My dad, I had a bunch of family that went to Michigan State, but my mom went to Notre Dame. My grandfather played here, has been a donor here for a while. My uncle played here. So Notre Dame's been a part of my history my whole, my whole life. Like I grew up going to Michigan State games once a year and Notre Dame game once a year. So this place has been something special to me for a long time. When Coach Freeman gave me the call, it was, it was a no-brainer for me. So well, let's go to the flip side. What have you been able to teach some of the guys in the, in the position? You know, I think more than anything, these guys know our defense better. I mean, they've been playing it forever. I know it's been different coordinators and linebacker coaches, but they, it's been pretty similar over time. So they know it about as good as you're going to know it, our older guys. The younger guys, I feel like I've helped them kind of catch up to the older guys a little bit. But the main thing I try to help the older guys with is just football one-on-one -on -one stuff in terms of what are we expecting out of this formation? What does this situation in the game present? What are they going to do? Is this team different than the last team? Is the tight end deep? Is he tight? Whatever it is, little things that we can use. Yeah, we know the defense, but let's take the next step and start playing the plays that we're seeing. What about the, the fact of, I mean, kind of a fresh perspective. A lot of these coaches have been around the players for a while, but you're new kind of watching them on the field for a first time maybe. Uh, what have you noticed about this linebacker group early through preseason from a fresher perspective? They work, and they work, and they work. And it's unlike anywhere I've ever been. I mean, we... You have to pull them back. Whereas anywhere else playing, you have to push everyone to go. You got to push, you got to push, you got to pull. These guys, you got to pull them back, right? They work and they work and they work both on the field and in the classroom. One of the funniest stories about this place, not funny stories, but what I think is, you, is interesting is you got to be careful what you say to them. Like you got to make sure you're on your P's and Q's because they're going to do it. So like you better be saying it the right way, wording it the right way, because what you say, you're going to get it. Mike Vrabel called you one of the best football minds he's ever coached. Were you always destined for coaching? Uh, everyone always said I was good. I, I should coach when I was done playing. At the time, I thought you know I thought I could do anything I wanted. So I said I'm going to prove to you I could do something outside of football. But I tried that for about six months, no, nothing really, and then I, I was back in coaching high school. Yeah. And then what's the next step for Drake, Jaden, and Preston as they kind of grow? Day three of camp today, right? They're getting a lot of reps right now, a lot of reps. We have the, the little basics period at the end that they get a lot of reps too, but they get it all throughout practice. So right now they got to put their head down. They got to get reps. They got to do it over and over and over again. And really what I'm talking about right now is we just got to stack one good day after another. Stack one good day after another and don't think about the light at the end of the tunnel. Just think about putting one brick on top of the next. And that's all they should be focused on right now. I don't want them thinking about anything else.